What's going on guys, it's Black Scout Survival and today I'm gonna to do a uh, tutorial on map and compass. I have gotten a lot of, uh, over the years, people asking me about navigation and I'm gonna to try to do this ongoing. You know, I'm not gonna do everything at one time because this would be a, a two hour video. So I'm gonna do the most basic stuff first and we're gonna work through and uh, go through the whole gamut of everything. But I just wanna give you this little nugget of information now so you can go ahead and use the uh, map and compass for general navigation today. So we're gonna first talk about the features of the compass, then we're gonna talk about how to use it with a map. Okay guys, this is uh, the Suntu MC2 Global Compass. This is a sighting compass, so it has the uh, mirror section here used for sighting, and we'll talk about that in the future uh, videos and stuff like that. Uh, but anyhow, let's talk about some of the features. Like, you have, like I said, you have the sighting mirror, you have the bearing index, which is this line with this little arrow, this little tick arrow here. You have the uh, bezel ring and has bearing marks on here. You have the orienting arrow, which is this arrow right here that's uh, in that dial that you can see moving there. Some people call it uh, the doghouse or the box. Down below here inside the compass is the declination scale and we'll cover that in a future video, adjusting declination. Then you have the orienteering lines here, which are going with the orienteering arrow. And then you have the uh, compass needle and the orange in this case, because this is the global, usually the, they're red, but that always points north. Then you have little uh, scales and stuff like that that you can use for judging distance. And then you have uh, a magnifying glass there as well. And if you have a declination scale, it's gonna come with a little declination tool like that right there. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to um, find your azimuth for uh, direction. And you can see here, this is the uh, reference lines here. This is north and south line, east and west line. Now, if I'm gonna, if I'm going to get my bearing from my, or orient my map, you'll see this is the north line here. And my compass is pointing north is this way. So what I'll need to do is to get my map oriented, I'll need to flip it around. Okay, and then I can use my just to show you. So now my map is oriented. So in this case, let's say I'm here at uh, the Hurricane Branch. And if you, you, you can draw on your map, use a pencil usually, or use map, uh, a map protector and map pens. And let's say I'm going down here to uh, Round Mountain my finish and I'm going to draw a line to there. So what I'm going to do now to get this uh, bearing is I'm going to place my compass edge up against that line. I'm going to make sure my orient orienteering arrows in line is lined up with the north and south reference line. So you can see that little line inside there possibly. And I'm gonna twist those reference lines to match up with this line right here. So now what I've got is right here, 130 degrees is my azimuth. If I'm going from Hurricane to Round Mountain, if I'm going this direction. Now if I was going this direction, I would place the compass facing this way. So. Make sure you're facing the compass towards that area. So, got our, got our azimuth now, it's 130. Now let me show you something else. You can also use a compass card. This is a SC Knives compass card. And if you place that compass card in the center of this line and match up, you can match up You get the the grid right make sure the grid on is correct 
and place it in the center and then match those inside lines to your line you will have see that north and south reference line that matched up and you see that's 130 degrees there as well using that compass card moving on to the next portion so at the bottom of each map you're going to have a scale and you can use your compass to measure that distance on that scale so then you can take that information and lay it from your start to finish your point A to point B and find out how far your distance is. Now I'm gonna put a link to the video that we did previously on pace count beads and uh, watch that video and it will teach you how to pace count and use those beads for measuring your distance. We'll talk about backstops and all that kind of stuff, handrails to keep you from going beyond your point in the future. Uh, but this is like I said, I wanted to keep this kind of basic. So, like I said, it's important to orient that map. I see a lot of people put their compass down, they'll shoot it and stuff like that, but then they're not, uh, they're not, their map's not oriented. It's smart to orient your map to your compass. Now, we have that 130 degree bearing in that, uh, on that reference index there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the compass until we box that needle. And when I mean box that needle, I'm going to try to get it to do it. Is you're going to put that that uh, orange or red part of that needle inside that orient orienteering arrow there. So box the needle like that right there. So hold your compass out in front of you. Don't turn or twist it. Hold it straight out in front of you. You can use your mirror to look down into and see that you're uh, pointing that arrow while you're holding that compass out in front of you in the right direction, if you can see that. So you'll box that compass holding out in front of you. Take and use the sighting line on your compass and shoot far out as you can and look for a terrain feature, a prominent terrain feature that you can walk to out in the distance. Once you get to that terrain feature, you'll shoot that azimuth again. You'll stand, if it's a tree, you'll put your back up against that tree and shoot out again and uh, keep going like that right there. Okay, guys, that was uh, how to use a map and uh, compass. Very basic uh, use. We'll cover declination, handrails, backstops, all that kind of stuff in the future. But I wanted to get this out there so you can go start to practice that navigation. Uh, get a local map of your area and start just practicing. You know, uh, you can carry GPS to back yourself up. But just go out there and start practicing that navigation. I know a lot of people struggle with it, but it is one of the most critical and valuable survival skills there is. Uh, if you know how to navigate and you're not, uh, ha don't have a severe injury, you can usually find your way out of any bad situation there is. Hope this video helps. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we put out a few new videos every week. And as always, thanks for watching.